My name is John Justice. I'm with The Habit TV. We're out here at Lake Gunnersville today. We're talking about bow fishing, talking about what, what makes us go out bow fishing. The main thing that gets me out bow fishing is to go have a good time and play on the water with a lot of my friends. I've met some of the best people in the world through bow fishing. These people would go through thick and thin to help you. They're the people you can call in the middle of the night and say, hey, I've got a problem, I'm broke down or anything like that. And they're coming to get you. These are the, the bread and butter of this sport is some of the best people you'll ever find. Have you ever taken a person bow fishing that's never been before? Yes, sir. We've taken a lot of people that have never been and I've never seen anybody say they didn't enjoy it. What do you, what do you tell them and how do you, how do you get somebody started in bow fishing? <coughs> if anybody's ever had the first thought of ever thinking, hey, you know what, I bet that'd be pretty fun. If you ever think that it would be fun, it's a whole lot funner than you're thinking and you would love it. Have you ever taken an alligator? Yes, I took alligator five years ago in Georgia. It took me four years to draw the tag. We went down and I shot one. It's that's a powerful, powerful animal. Tell us about that hunt. We uh, <laughs> this is just kind of how we do stuff. But Chuck and I both drew the same year, and another buddy of ours drew at the same time. We left on a Friday afternoon after working all day. Drove down to the lake, got there at dark, got on the water, fished all night caught three alligators right before daylight, got in the truck, drove home, and was home Saturday morning, and had to skin an alligator after being up all night. And that was probably the worst thing I've ever had to do in my life, being sleep deprived, trying to skin an alligator by myself in the driveway. How big was your alligator? I, it was seven and a half foot. Seven and a half foot. Yes, sir. Why would you encourage someone else to get out and, and go uh, uh, bow fishing? The thing that I like about it that appeals to me is seeing what happens at night in a body of water, just to see what fish naturally do. And you know, a lot of times you go fishing or go boating or anything like that, you don't really know what they're doing. It gives you a, I want to say like a bird's eye view of the fish at night as far as you go across and you see the different terrain in the water. Like if you go out here fishing, you can't see what you're really looking at other than what's right around your boat. Well, we can take an airboat and go anywhere and see what's going on in the back of some of this stuff. We can get places where no other boats can and see what the fish are really doing as far as spawning, you know, whether they're on this kind of structure or what, but you get a wide, a wide view of what the fish are doing across a big body of water. Why do serious bow fishermen uh, usually use airboats? Uh, they usually use airboats because there's nowhere really you can't go well, as far as the, there's nowhere the airboat can't go, but you have some restrictions just from the noise of the airboat. So I like it because you don't have to worry about the depth of the water. You don't have to worry about how thick the grass is you're going on. You don't have to worry about whether it gets shallow. You don't have to really worry about running at a ground or any of that stuff. What's the most fish y'all put in a boat on any one trip? Uh, I would say at least three or 400 on some trips, you know, if you if you find them right and get into them and they're that populated, then it's the sky's the limit until you get tired of shooting them. I got you. Okay.